In this video, I will show you how to use the Roblox FPS Unlocker. And this is actually a tool that you can use to actually help improve the performance of your experiences on Roblox. So I just wanted to point out here as well that the actual team at Roblox do endorse this, that you're not actually going to get banned for using this, but it is an unofficial feature for Roblox. So if you do have any questions regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comments below. And if this does help you out today, then please drop a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So here we are, I'm currently on my desktop. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a internet browser and I use Google Chrome, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that now. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to google.com and in the search box you just want to type Roblox FPS and locker and just stay tuned because I'm just going to show you the correct website to use. There's a few websites that do do FPS and lockers, but the one you're going to want to use is actually the GitHub link at the top. So it should say github.com and then it should say AXSTIN, so like Austin, but with an X instead. So you want to go ahead and click onto this link here. So next, what you want to do is make sure that you download the latest version of the Roblox FPS and Knocker, which should be at the top of the page. And you can tell this because it actually says latest next to the latest version of the FPS and Knocker. So what you want to do is actually scroll down a bit and you're going to see a section called assets just down here, just underneath. And what you want to do is download the zip file. So you can see this is the latest one that was done about five days ago. So what you want to do is click onto this to start downloading the zip file. Now, if you're using Google Chrome, it's going to start, as you can see, downloading up here. And what you can do if you're not using Google Chrome, just simply come down to your search box in the bottom left hand corner. Go ahead and type download and open up your downloads folder to find the zip file in there. So you might notice at some point that your antivirus is going to kick in and it's going to stop you from downloading this folder. And I just want to highlight at this point, this is definitely safe to use. It's not a virus as long as you do download it from the site that I am showing here, which is the GitHub link here. So what you want to do if it comes up with something like this, then make sure you have disabled your antivirus. And what you want to do is click on to continue download. And what it's going to do is download the file. So once you've got this downloaded, what you can do is just click onto that to open up the file. And when it comes up with this, you want to click onto File Explorer. So as you can see, we've got the application in here. And if for any reason it's not shown, again, make sure your antivirus is disabled just because sometimes it picks this up as a virus for some reason. But as I say, it's perfectly safe. You can use this, no problem at all. So here we are back on the desktop. Now I've got the folder opened and what I'm going to do is double click to run this application. So that's going to go through and just run the FPS and knocker. So we now have the FPS and knocker running. So we can confirm this because if we come down to the bottom right hand corner and it might not be showing, you might need to click on this arrow. But if you click onto this on your system tray, you're going to see the Roblox FPS and knocker down here. So what you want to do every time you run Roblox is you want to double click and run this application before you start up Roblox to get to the best performance. Now, what you can do, you can actually right click onto the icon down here in the system tray. And just a couple of notes, things I want to point out is that you want to make sure the unlock Roblox player is ticked and the check for updates is very handy to have. Underneath FPS cap, you can cap the FPS if you want, but I personally leave mine at none. And if you do use Roblox Studio and you want a bit more of a smoother performance, then you can also tick this box as well when you're using Roblox Studio. So a couple of things to mention at this point is to make sure that you do double click and run this program every time before you start Roblox. What this effectively does is it turns off the fee sync and the frame limiter. So it does improve the performance, which will of course enable you to have a smoother and more improved performance on your experiences. And as I did mention earlier in the video, you will not get banned for using this. It's perfectly fine to use it, absolutely fine. And, and Roblox have actually confirmed that you can use this and you will not get banned. So I hope this video helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you were to drop down below the video and leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.